Today we're going to look at creating lists for our friends so that we can tag certain friends to be can included in certain lists so that for our future posts if we want to include or exclude certain people we would be able to do that. Um, and it all comes from tagging people as they are a part of certain lists. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, if you're lost in Facebook right now, uh, go to your name and click on your name and that will bring you to a similar page like this. Go hover over friends and click on that. Now this will bring up your full list of friends. And what I want you to do is find the Friends, today, for purposes of this exercise, we are going to create a list called Realtors or Realtor, and you can go through all of your friends and tag them as a Realtor, and this is how you would do that. So let's pretend Danielle is a Realtor. So we're gonna hover over this little Friends button, and this will pop up. Now, I have lots of lists um, for different reasons for different people. Uh, she is, as you can see, she is not tagged in any of these lists yet. So I don't have a realtor list, so I'm gonna create a new list. So click on new list and type realtor, okay? And we're gonna enter. So now it's checked and bolded that, so that shows us that she is now in the realtor list. So if I were going to include or exclude the list called Realtor in the future for our future posts, she would be on it. So there you go. Okay, perfect. Now let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So we're going to go click back, hover over timeline, click back onto your timeline, and let's make up a quick post here. Check out our new listing, whatever. Now you'll see this is your post, go to custom. So you want to click on custom. Now it's either going to show this post to either the public or it's going to show it to your friends. But you can also change it to friends except acquaintances, only me, or custom. So this, this time we are going to click custom. Now. When you go to customize this and you're going to not share it with a certain people, you can't share it with the public and exclude people. It either goes to your friends and exclude people um, or the public or your friends of friends. So if you only want it to go to your friends, then that's fine. Now, if you want it to go to your friends and friends of friends, you would want to share it with that. Now we're going to exclude, we're not going to exclude Danielle because there's a whole list of people we want to exclude because we pretend we've already tagged a group of people as realtors. So we're not going to share with the realtor list. And if there's individual people, like, you know, let's say, let's say Danielle Morris, we, there's also individual people we don't want to see that. We can do that as well. But for sake of this exercise, we are just going to exclude the list of realtors that we have just created, even though it's only Danielle right now. But pretend you went through your friends list and you, there's multiple people you tagged in this realtor list, okay? So we are sharing this post with friends and friends of friends, and we're also excluding the list of realtors, so save changes. Now you'll see here, it only says, when you hover over this custom button, it only says friends of friends, but just know that it will also show your whole list of friends. So I hope that makes sense. Even though it doesn't say on here friends, it will show this post to your friends, at least the friends that you interact with, and then their friends as well. So it gives you a big audience to get this post in front of, but it will hide this post from the people you tagged as realtors. So I hope that makes sense. Now let's, oops, so let's go, um, let's get out of here. I wanna delete that and let me show you. We are gonna go to your page. So if you're gonna go to the Stevens group. Now I just posted, a cute video because before we had talked about dogs being cute and people love puppies so I posted this happy Monday with this adorable <laughs> video of a dog eating a banana because that is just so cute so 
hopefully that will brighten somebody's morning. Okay, so let's say we want to share this, but we don't want to share it with the realtors, okay? We don't want them to see what we're doing. So you would go to this custom, right? And it's going to either show to the public. Now, because we just created a custom list, it already had that saved. So let's say we do want everybody to see this. We wanna make sure we switch it back to the public. So it's, Facebook is going to save your most recent audience that you, that you targeted. Um, so if you want to include the entire public, then you would have to make sure you changed that. But we want to make sure that we are only showing um, friends of friends and realtors. We want to exclude the realtors. Okay, so we're going to save changes. Again, you're going to hover over. Now remember, you see it only says friends of friends, even though we want our big group of friends. So don't worry, it will show to the big group of friends whether we added them to the share with option or not. But it will exclude the realtor list. I hope that makes sense. Um, but we're going to cancel that for now. And I hope that explains to you how to create lists. Now, when you had mentioned or if you have thought about creating groups, that is something completely different that we can talk about in a separate video. But for now, hopefully that answers your questions about creating lists of people to target for your post audience. Have a great day.